Hi, I'm Angie, also known as A1 Angie M, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I share easy and fast recipes that taste delicious and use ordinary ingredients you can find in your kitchen. I also share quilting and crafting videos, and I hope by watching my videos you'll be inspired to try something new and learn something new. To introduce you to my channel, I thought I would share my top five things to have in the kitchen. There are a million great gadgets and appliances that you can use to make your cooking and baking easier. But really, if you start with these five things, you'll be well on your way to preparing any of the great recipes that I share. My number one tool is a good chef's knife. You want something that feels good in your hand and it makes the job so much easier. So learn how to use it and keep it sharp. The second must have I have in my kitchen is this big metal bowl. Stainless steel bowl, I use this for everything from preparing batters to serving salad. Get the biggest one you can that fits in your cupboard and stainless steel and take good care of it. You want something with a good weight to it and you will use this so many times, it's invaluable. The other critical items you're gonna need in a kitchen are some really good measuring cups. For dry ingredients like flour and sugar, you want a nice heavyweight set of stainless steel measuring cups. Usually it comes in quarter cup, third of a cup, half cup, and full cup. Use these all the time. And remember to measure it correctly by scooping the flour in and leveling it off. You'll also want a set of measuring spoons. Obviously, they usually come in a tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon and quarter teaspoon, and you can usually get by with having these ones. And it's really important to measure liquid ingredients in a glass liquid measuring cup with a spout. By measuring accurately, you'll have a lot more success with your recipes and baking. It was a tie for my next must-haves. A good whisk can get you through a lot of recipes. It's great for sifting dry ingredients together, beating eggs, whipping pancake batter, all kinds of things, making a cake. So if you don't have an electric mixer, you really want a nice whisk that's got a good weight in your hand and is just the right size for you. And that's tied with a really good spoon. This one is my favorite. It's perfect for muffin batter and measuring it out into the muffin pans and it's just the right size and I love the spoon. And finally, I really recommend having a rubber scraper in your kitchen. They're kind of hard to find now, the ones that are made of rubber and not silicone. I prefer the rubber ones and I have only one left. This one is a Tupperware one and it's nice and big. When you use a rubber scraper to clean out your bowls, there's no waste and it makes cleanup easier and you're using all the ingredients that you spent the time to mix. So thanks for dropping in on my YouTube channel. I hope you find something that interests you here and that you learn something new today. You can also visit my blog at overthekitchencounter.com where I share many more recipes and lots of quilting and craft ideas as well. I hope if you enjoy my videos, you'll subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.